Welcome to part 2 of my beginners calisthenics video. Today, I'll show you how to get started with training your core, your legs, and some basic flexibility and mobility. If you want to master your body weight, you have to have a strong core. There's no question about it. It's involved in all exercises. When training, don't train for six pack abs. Train for a strong core. The L sit is fundamental for body weight training, but it doesn't come easy. The first step for the L sit is the tuck sit. When learning the tuck sit, use some high bars so your legs can drop. Here, you're just trying to lift your knees as high as you can. When you can hold it for over 10 seconds without your knees coming down, do the same thing on low bars. Here, if you lower your knees, your feet will hit the ground. If it's too difficult, go back to the higher bars. When you can hold this for around 20 seconds, then you can try the L. If you want the core of a gymnast, there are two crucial shapes, dish and arch. Dish, also known as hollow body, is where your back is round and your feet are just off the floor. When starting out, do something called a tuck hold, where your arms are down, shoulders are off the floor, and your feet are hovering off the floor. Make sure your lower back is pushed into the ground. When you can hold it, slowly bring your legs out further, keeping your feet close to the floor, which makes it harder, but don't lift your legs up. If you can hold it with straight legs, try lifting your arms up by your ears. This is even harder, and lots of people arch their backs when lifting their arms up. So make sure your lower back is pushed into the floor. If you can hold it, you're on your way to having a very strong anterior core. The other important shape is arch, also known as Superman. If you want to strengthen the small muscles of the back and improve posture, this is a great start. Start laying prone and lift your arms and legs off the floor. Try and cover your ears with your arms. This works your back extensors. Now legs. First up, the most important pushing exercise for the legs, squats. You want to go down as low as you can without quickly dropping down. There are lots of things that determine how low you go, like anthropometry, if you don't know what that is, look it up, mobility, and more. Keep your knees out and push back up to straight legs. You don't need to worry too much about what position your back is in for a bodyweight squat, and your knees can go over your toes. Another great exercise for starting out is lunges. Start with your feet together, hands on your hips, and step back, keeping your knee just off the floor and then joining your feet back together. You can also do forward lunges, where it's the same thing, but instead of stepping backwards, you're stepping forward. When training legs, you also have to do a hinge Something people do is forget or neglect the glutes. So here, we're going to do a glute bridge. So lay on your back, knees up, and you're really squeezing your glutes as you're lifting them off the ground. To finish off this beginner's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about basic flexibility and mobility. If you really wanna master your body weight, you not only have to be really strong but you have to be flexible and mobile as well. Some people don't do any sort of stretching because they don't know where to start. So I'm going to show you how to get started. These three are great stretches for your shoulders, thoracic spine, and rotator cuff muscles. Three other shapes you want to have are the deep squat, the standing pike, and standing pancake. With the squat, the aim here is to sit all the way down with flat feet. Some people struggle to go all the way down keeping their feet flat. If this is the case, you can put your hands behind and lean forward as much as you can. You can also do this ankle mobility exercise, where you're trying to get your knee to the wall, keeping your front foot flat. The better you get, the further out you can go. Now the pike. For this one, just stand, keep your legs straight and reach down as far as you can. Try and touch your toes. If you can do that, try and touch the floor. Then 
try and get your knuckles down, and then aim for flat hands on the floor. If you can do that, then the ultimate pike is chest to knee. A great exercise for the pike is called the squat pike. Lastly, the pancake. Here, stand with your legs apart and reach as far as you can through your legs. If you want to, you can grab your legs and pull your chest in. You can also do it sitting. This is a great exercise to work on your pancake. If you want more detail into any of these exercises, just let me know in the comments and I can make a full video on them. Thanks for watching. You can be doing anything you want right now, and you decided to spend a little time with me, so thank you. And remember, never stop learning. I'll see you in the next video.